Wow, this is pretty cool. I have traveled up to the Arctic to meet up with fellow Nikon ambassador, Konstapunka, on a special assignment to test out the brand new Nikon 800mm 6.3PF for some Arctic wildlife photography. Hopefully whilst we're here, we're going to have the chance to put this new lens through its paces in what is a challenging environment, a great way to ensure it's up to the job, and with any luck, it will give us the extra reach to make some really nice images in this inspiring landscape. Having traveled by air, I was already pretty impressed with the weight of the lens, not taking up too much of my baggage allowance. Although being a big lens, it certainly wasn't a weight on my back. Right, so let me take a moment to introduce the brand new 800mm 6.3 from Nikon, an S-Line Prime that offers top quality lens performance, great reach for wildlife photographers or any photographers who want to get up close with their subject in a package that's truly hand holdable. The lens design itself features 22 elements in 14 groups. You've got three ED elements, nano crystal coating, fluorite coating, all of that good stuff that we've been used to on a top end Nikon Prime. On the external of the body, you've got um, autofocus buttons on the front, an FN button on the side, great manual focus ring and controllable dial, as well as the memory set function um, that is great for recalling focus uh, to a specific point. This is all incredible when you think this comes in at a weight under 2.4 kilos that makes this lens perfection for hand-held work. It's superb when weighted with a camera like this Z9 on the back. It balances great and when you're crawling around or just holding it out in the field for a long and extended period, it doesn't feel cumbersome at all. In addition to the 800mm reach, you can extend that further if you need to. A 1.4 or 2 times teleconverter can be used with this lens, giving you 1,120mm or 1,600mm. Perfect for getting close to your subjects whilst also maintaining some great distance. I really can't wait to use this lens more and test it out and get some images with it. I think it's going to be a superb option for wildlife photographers, offering for, well, the first time, access to an 800mm lens in a way that we can use it in all kinds of situations. So with the 800mm in our hands, it was time to pull on our down jacket, get out there and track down some subjects. Right, so we've just seen a couple of grouse, kind of just off the track where we've been snowmobiling. Got a few distance shots at the moment, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to crawl down the edge and see if I can get a little closer. So one of the grouse is just in between some little birch trees. That's really nice. Ah, really nice composition with the trees coming down to him, just standing in the middle. Just gonna get a few more of those. That's very nice. The great thing about having the 800 is my working distance from here to the grouse is really good. I must be at least 10 meters away, but I'm getting you know shots that are really putting the grouse quite large in the frame. I'll see if I can get closer, get some really nice frame fillers. Willow grouse are found throughout the Arctic tundra and are really beautiful birds. Camouflage so well with their environment, spotting them at a distance is key in order to make that tactful approach. With the longer working range of the 800mm, it was a great tool for this style of work. That was awesome! Got some good ones there, I think. Yeah, yeah when they're on that top bit, that was really nice. My initial impressions of the 800 were fantastic. Working with animal eye detection on the Z9, the camera locked focus easily. The lens's almost silent motors doing a really good job of providing swift focus for either stills or video shooting as I swapped between modes. The lens also was remarkably stable with the new VR system working with the Z9 as well, offering me the ability to collect some video clips handheld of grouse as I lay on my front something almost unheard of for an 800mm lens, 
and something that really impressed with me and I just can't wait to use in the future. Over the next few hours we got really lucky with more grouse as we scouted out the area for wildlife. Jumping off the snowmobile, the lightweight nature of the 800 really allowed me to be nimble and react fast. Trudging through thigh deep snow it was nice to be able to work handheld, holding my body in difficult positions as I was following a grouse up a snowbank. The lightweight really did come into its own, and so even as I was contorted on the floor in some tough shooting stances, I was still able to maintain my hold on the lens and nail the shots I was after. Swapping out with Conster, we were taking it in turns with the lens, and a short ride later he had the great opportunity to get some images of the grouse in a tree. They often fly off if you get too close, so that extra working distance of the 800mm gave us a flexibility to shoot something a little bit different. Having spent the morning with grouse, we saddled up again in search of wildlife, and for the afternoon we soon found ourselves looking at some herds of reindeer. The 800mm was making it easy to get some close in portraits, full body shots while still retaining a really nice respectful distance. Something that's fantastic not only for our subjects, but also extending any wildlife encounter, giving you more time to try different images and just get more time to make those pictures out in the field. Something that we really can't get enough of as wildlife photographers. Well that was pretty good. We just brought the snowmobiles up and happened across a nice uh, herd of reindeer. Good chance to use the 800, get some tighter shots and then we just swap with Consta who's got the 800 in his hand, I've got the 400 but uh, some really nice light and some great subjects but uh, they just dipped over the hill so I'm going to head that way and uh, see if we get a bit closer. As the reindeer moved off, we were once again back on the move, tracking down another herd as the light started to enter its final phase of the day. So we just pulled up alongside another herd of reindeer here. Constance has got the 800 out, shooting some pictures, getting really nice and low, probably getting some snow in front and stuff like that. You know, we're getting like full body shots with the 800 because you're just so close, it's fantastic. Gives us real good flexibility to stay away from our subjects, that's great. Um, means that we can give them more space, but also be a little bit more creative in the images we're getting. Because it gets super low down there, that's awesome. But, uh, oh, look at this one right there, that is so nice. That's cool. Working on the ground in freezing temperatures, the external features of the 800mm were ideal with the AF buttons helping me as I slowly started to lose the feeling in my hands. You know, having external controls are always so useful as wildlife photographers, especially if you've got thick gloves on and are working in difficult conditions. So I've been following the reindeer about half an hour now or so, and we've moved round because the moon has just appeared off in the distance. It's really big and we're just trying to hope that what they'll do is walk across in front of it. Sadly, there's some cloud heading over the top of it, but uh, it's making for one beautiful Arctic scene for sure. Just trying to pick some shots and see what we can get. The herds are kind of moving across now, so I better get watching. If something just appears on that ridge where that moon is, it's going to make for some great photographic opportunities. So we're starting to lose the light a little now. But one thing I'm really noticing with the 800, especially on my Z9, is the fact that the VR performance is really astonishing. I'm able to hand hold down to like a 20th of a second, a 60th and get really sharp images. Something that I'm just not used to and something that really is quite incredible using an 800mm. Now one of the other things I like to explore in this kind of light, especially when the, you know, the light really is starting to dip, 
is just to lower that shutter speed and work with some creative blur, tracking the reindeer as they're moving along, just utilizing their shape and form as they're walking through the landscape can just create something a little bit different. I think photographers sometimes pack up when the light starts to get bad, but you know when you're on a trip somewhere incredible, you wanna shoot absolute to the last moment because you never know those images you might come up with could be really quite interesting and ones you'll love for years to come. You know, as we lost the light, it was time to pack up. The bitter cold was starting to set in, but just as we returned to our cabin, I was able to wait one final frame. I was on the back of the snowmobile, riding through the fells, and we looked across to a group of reindeer coming down the side. The light broke through for just a second, and from the back seat of my snowmobile, I was able to shoot handheld with the 800, nail the focus, and get a slow shutter speed panning shot of reindeer that to me is one of my favourite images of the trip. Working out in the Arctic was a fantastic opportunity to try out the new 800mm PF. I think for so many photographers this is going to be a great addition to the kit bag, offering that extended reach to get us close to our subjects, offer a better working distance so we can disturb them less, and just give us flexibility to try new things when we're out in the field. I really can't wait to get my hands on a production model so I can use it out, especially in the UK. There's so many subjects I'm running through my mind that it's going to work perfectly with this style of shooting and I think it's something that many of us Nikon photographers are certainly going to want to add to our kit. <laughs>